विनय एंड वर्षा रन ए रेस विद देर स्पीड इन द रेशियो फाइव इज टू थ्री इन द रेशियो फाइव इज टू थ्री दे प्रेफर टू रन ऑन ए सर्कुलर ट्रैक ऑफ सर्कम वन पॉइंट फाइव किलोमीटर्स वॉट इज द डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बाई विनय वेन ही पास इज वर्षा फॉर द सेवेंथ टाइम सो सिंपल क्वेश्चन सिंपल टू अंडरस्टैंड एटलीस्ट सोल्यूशन लेट्स सी इन अ फ्यू सेकेंड्स फ्रॉम नाउ बट लेट्स क्विकली रीड थ्रू इट वन सेकेंड राइट सो विनय एंड वर्षा आर टू पर्सन हु आर रनिंग इन अ रेस and their speeds are in the ratio 5 is to 3 right when a speed is 5 parts varsha speed is 3 parts they prefer to run on a circular track track of circumference 1.5 km so the track is of circumference 1.5 km what is the distance covered by vinay when he passes varsha for the seventh time what is the distance covered by vinay when he passes varsha for the seventh time right when he passes varsha for the seventh time and since he is talking about passing varsha i think this term passes here is very important Passes Varsha means what? They are both running in the same direction, right? If he says crosses Varsha for the seventh time, then it becomes a different case altogether. But passing Varsha means they are both running in the same direction. Now, how do you simplify this? Look at it. I mean, it's it's a very simple solution, but you got to understand what really happens here. So this is the circle, let's say, right? The circumference is one point five kilometers, which is given to us. Now let's say this is the starting point, and both the guys are running in the clockwise direction. clockwise or anti clockwise direction doesn't really matter right so if we know that vinay's speed is to varsha's speed is equal to 5 is to 3 so basically you know vinay will be faster than varsha right vinay will be faster than varsha now what happens you got to understand what really happens here both of them are starting at the same point vinay and varsha and they start now you got to realize that the moment they start running vinay will take a pole position vinay will be ahead of varsha right the moment they start running vinay vinay will be ahead of varsha because his speed is more than varsha speed right i mean very close to twice than varsha speed 5 is 3 is like if varsha can run at 30 km per hour vinay will run at 50 km per hour so obviously vinay will be ahead of varsha vinay will be ahead of varsha so let's say as soon as they start this is vinay's position and this is varsha's position you getting it this is the starting point but the moment they start vinay gets ahead of varsha now what happens try and understand when will vinay cross varsha for the first time when will vinay cross varsha for the first time i am i i'll probably use different colors here so that it becomes easier for you to follow right so the first time when vinay crosses varsha for the first time what happens see vinay is ahead of varsha right so he will cover this whole distance how much is this distance 1.5 km you able to follow this is vinay's vinay's path vinay will run all through the circle now by the time vinay comes here by the time when when i reaches by the time when i completes one circle varsha will be somewhere here let's say this is varsha's position varsha will be somewhere here now for vinay to catch up varsha to cross for vinay to pass varsha for the first time what he, what he has to do he has covered one round and then he has to cover this distance more he has to cover this distance he able to follow he has to cover this distance of course meanwhile varsha will also be running so whatever he will catch up varsha for the first time so so what has vinay covered vinay has covered the distance of the circle circumference of the circle and the distance covered by varsha and the distance covered by varsha so let's assume that the distance covered by varsha in the first case is uh, you know uh, it's like d1 you know first case as in when he cross for the first time when he cross for the first time so what is the distance covered by vinay when he cross varsha for the first time distance covered by vinay when he cross varsha for the first time will be 1.5 km plus d1 this is for the first instance right or not varsha has covered this is so basically we are saying that this is d1 this is d1 so vinay also comes here in the same position but vinay comes here after making one full circle so one full circle is 1.5 km plus the distance covered by varsha so 1.5 plus d1 now continue now continue from this point onwards now what happens look at this let me use another color now this is the starting point this is a new instance both of them are at this point yes or no like both of them were standing here earlier now both of them are at this point so let's say this is the starting point both of them are running again the same thing vinay immediately takes we gets ahead of varsha vinay immediately gets ahead of varsha and now they are running so what happens vinay will make one full circle from this point onwards vinay will make one full circle so vinay will this is how much 1.5 km so vinay will run 1.5 km Yes, sir. Vinay has covered 1.5 kilometers. By that time, Varsha has Varsha has come somewhere here. I mean, Varsha is also running. Varsha, let's say, somewhere here. V E two, uh, let's say, right? 
So Vinaya has to cover this whole 1.5 kilometers and the distance covered by Varsha. Let's assume the distance covered by Varsha is d2. So what happens in the second instance when he crosses for the second time? Distance covered by Varsha is what only d2 because Varsha came from this point to this point. But the distance covered by Vinay meanwhile is how much? 1.5 he made one full circle plus this d2 1.5 plus d2. And remember this whole continues right now this becomes so finally they meet at this point which point they meet at this point this becomes the new meeting point now this is the third instance now from here onwards again this becomes like the new starting point you, you, you're getting it so this is the new starting point now again Vinay has to make one full circle so Vinay will take one full circle 1.5 by the time Varsha has covered let's say d3 and Vinay has to cover that d3 to meet Varsha and and this whole thing continues this drama happens how many times seven times you're getting it now in the total seven crossings or seven passings which Vinay when, when Vinay passes Varsha what is the total distance covered by Varsha d1 what is the total distance covered by Varsha d1 plus d2 plus d3 plus d4 and so on let's say the total distance covered by Varsha is d right so total distance covered by Varsha the actual solution starts here I mean assuming that all of you know this I have understood this. The actual solution starts here. What you do in the exam starts here. Total distance by Varsha is how much? D1 plus D2 and so on up to D7, let's say, which is equal to D. Can you tell me what is the total distance covered by Vinay? Total distance by Vinay. See, Vinay has to cover whatever Varsha has covered. D plus each time Vinay covered how much? 1.5 kilometers. Remember 1.5 here plus D1. 1.5 plus D2. 1.5 plus D3. So total D plus 1.5 how many times? 7 times. So it is equal to D plus 1.5 into 7 is how much? 10.5. So we know the distances covered by Varsha and Vinay. D and D plus 10.5 respectively. We also know their speed ratio. Right? Speeds of Varsha and Vinay or Vinay and Varsha are in 5 is to 3 ratio. You know the speed ratio, you know the distance ratio. Can you find out D from that? Yes. Once you get D, you'll be able to solve the question very easily. Right? See, we know that speed is proportional to distance. Yes or no? So I can say speed of Vinay by speed of Varsha equals to distance. You don't have to write all these steps in the exam. Just for the sake of clear explanation, I'm doing it. You will directly substitute the values. How do you substitute the values? Like this. Speed of Vinay by speed of Varsha. How much is it? 5 by 3. Distance covered by Vinay? D plus 10.5. Distance covered by Varsha, D. Now simplify this, cross multiply. So what do we get? Uh, 5D minus 3D. So 2D equals to 3 into 10.5 will be 31.5. Which means D is 31.5 by 2. 31.5 by 2 is how much? 15.75. You have got D. What is he asking us to find out? Uh, distance covered by Vinay. Distance covered by Vinay for the seventh time. What is the distance covered by Vinay for the seventh time? This is seventh time case only, right? The total distance that we have referred to here is seventh time when he crosses for the seventh time. So distance covered by Vinay for the seventh time is d plus 10.5. So distance covered by Vinay will be equal to 15.75 plus 10.5. So that's like 25 and 26.25. 26.25 kilometers. Everything is in kilometers here, yes? so don't worry about the units. 26.25, option 2 will be the answer. 26.25. I know explanation has taken time because we are doing all the, in fact, we participated in the race. It looked like as though we have actually participated in the race. Now that you have solved it once, you should know next time onwards how to crack this, right? You, I mean, you can just start with this. Total distance covered by if one person is D, the distance covered by other person will be D plus whatever number of times he has crossed, right, into the circumference. And then speed ratio. So, strictly speaking, the only steps that you'll put on paper are these. Distance covered by one person is D, the other person is D uh, plus 1.5 into 7. And then this. Don't even write that speed is proportional to distance and all that stuff. Calculate D from here and get the total answer. He can either ask you to find out the distance covered by Vinay or distance covered by Varsha. Suppose the question says what is the distance covered by Varsha? Answer directly 15.75. Uh, yeah? I know not a very simple question, but having discussed this so much in detail, all of you should have followed.